Hi friends. I am super excited. Have you ever been waiting for a book to be published? And it's finally here. That's the book we're reading today. I am so excited. It's a super sweet story about a shrew family. Do you know what a shrew is? They're like little mice on their way through the jungle to go to their new home. And Bro has no idea that I put that book in his basket. I have been on hold for this book for months. Oh, it's so adorable. So we are gonna wake up Ro and surprise him. I love surprises, don't you? Okay, so let's go grab Ro's basket and we're gonna wake him up at the count of three. Are you ready? Here, Ro. One, two, three. Where is Ro? Where is Ro? Here he is. <laughs> Here he is. Did you bring a story? No, you didn't. I brought a story today. <laughs> Time to read. Time to read. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Oh, honey, I am laughing because I am super excited. I I know I, I you didn't pick out a book, did you? No, do you remember that there's been this book that I have been waiting for for like weeks now? Yes, it's about the Shrew family. Well, guess what? It finally came in. It did. And it's in your basket. Didn't you feel it when you were sleeping in there? No? Do you want to go get it for our friends? Okay. It's so cute. Let's put your basket down here. Yes, look at this book. Oh, it's called Look Out Leonard. That's Leonard. He's a shrew. And this is by Jesse James. And it was illustrated by Tamara Aigan. I'm sorry. Tamara and Megan. Got to get those names right. And this is published through DK Publishing. So, Ro, do you want to stick around for the story? It's so cute. This is Leonard and his family going through the jungle to their new home. And there's going to be many opportunities where we're going to say, Look out, Leonard. Are you ready, Ro? Okay, here we go. All right, Ro. So this is Look Out Leonard. I know. Do you see all these different characters in this book? These are all the characters that Leonard is unfortunately going to meet in the jungle. All right, so this is by Jesse James, and it is illustrated by Tamara and Hagen. Brand new book. All right. This is the Shrew family. There's Mr. Shrew, good day to you. Mrs. Shrew, hello there. Sam, Stevie, Sasha, Sydney, and Leonard. Where, where is he going? Oh wait, there he is, yo. Today is an exciting day for the Shrew family. It's moving day. They have got a long journey through the forest to their new home. So Mrs. Shrew, do you see where Mrs. Shrew is, Ro? She's right there. Has asked everybody to hold on to each other's tails so that they don't get lost. There they all are. Can you count them? All right, Ro, let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All here, said Mr. Shrew, and off they go. But 
what's this? Leonard is holding on to the wrong tail. <gasps> this tail is too thick and too furry to be Sydney's. Look out, Leonard. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he fell on. Whew. Close, close, close. Phew, that was a close one. And look, there's Leonard's family. He's not far behind. Maybe he can reach Sydney's tail. Let's see. Oh no, that's not Sydney's tail. What is that tail, friends? Yes, that tail belongs to a snippy, snappy crocodile. Look out, Leonard! Oh boy, I hope this ends well. Those crocodiles don't look so friendly. Mm -mm. Yikes, that was a lucky escape. But where is Leonard going now, Ro? Where is he going? Oh, that's a snake, all right. Uh-oh, Leonard has grabbed on to the tail of a slithery snake. He doesn't look very friendly. Look out, Leonard. Whew. Oh, dear. Leonard had better catch up with the rest of that shrew family. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. They're greeting their feathery friend, Mr. Parrot, on their way past. Leonard is close behind. Whew, what a relief. Certainly is. Oh no, that's Mr. Parrot's tail. Look out, Leonard. I know, Leonard's flying now. Boing, that was a big fall. Plop, phew. What a surprisingly soft landing. Lucky, Leonard. The rest of the shrew family isn't far away. If Leonard is quick, he can reach them. Okay. There they are. Leonard's almost there. Come on, Leonard. You can do it. There's Sydney. She's looking for Leonard. Uh-oh. What is this? It's a tiger, Ro. Leonard's family has met a big, hungry, scary tiger. What are they going to do? What do you think they're going to do, friends? Oh, my gosh. I'm a little frightened to turn the page. Oh, you want me to turn? Okay, Ro. Okay, I'll turn the page. Uh-oh. That tree branch is very wobbly. Ooh, Leonard is is very high up. Look out, Leonard. But look, Leonard has knocked off one of the coconuts right onto the tiger's head. Hooray, clever Leonard. Oh, I think he's going to have a big bump on his head. Mm-hmm. Whee! But how will Leonard get down? from the top of that big, tall tree. Look out, Leonard. There he goes, sliding down that leaf. <sighs> well done, Leonard. That was an exciting adventure. But now, little Leonard is back with his family. He never wants to get lost again. Ooh. Whose tail is that? Mm. That's it. That is it. The end. What did you think of that book? New book? Oh, new books smell good. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed Look Out Leonard. You know, it's always important to follow the rules, especially when you're walking from one house to another. You know, hold on to those tails. Oh, I was a little, I was a little concerned at some points of that book, but I'm so happy that you stayed with us, Ro. I need to do this more often. I need to surprise you with books that I find. Hmm, we might be on a new path of discovery here. Okay, we'll tune in next time. We'll find out either Ro or myself have picked out a new book. All right, 
See you soon, guys. Bye.